Hi, we're going to do some time intelligence in Power BI. We're going to look at year over year and month over month volume and how to calculate these. So what you're looking at now uh, is my, my data view in Power BI that gives you all our columns. And we're going to be looking at an avocado data set uh, with volume and average price. And we're going to calculate uh, year over year and month over month. And we're going to be using the calculate function. So let's switch over to our report view. And we can see that we have all our columns here. And the first thing you're going to do is create a new measure. And we're going to be using the ca calendar table and the avocado table. And remember that these two tables are linked with this relationship. A one to many relationship from the calendar to the avocado. So let's go back to new measures. And then we're going to write our function, which is, let's say, total volume last year. We're going to start with calculate the sum of the total volume, which is going to summarize or sum that whole column. So now I'm going to use the date add function. And what that does is it allows us to break down the interval of the time period that we're looking at. So let's take a look at that function. So date add, we can put our dates in, which is going to be our calendar table. And now we want an interval. So we can choose the interval and because we want to look backwards as opposed to forward, we're going to use negative one for our interval and then we're going to choose year. And we're going to close that off. Okay, so let's take a look at this. We're going to use date for our axis. And then we're going to use total volume. And then we're going to use total volume last year. And you can see the difference there. However, let's, let's duplicate that. And let's look at that in a table view. And you can see there's nothing here. But let's turn that into a matrix so we can aggregate for the year. Now you can see that in 2015 you have a whole bunch that looks like 4 billion, 4.3 billion and we can see this is the last year column. So what if we wanted to see last month? We can quickly do that with this almost the same function. So let's go to let's practice one more time. Let's go to new measure so let's write our function calculate sum total volume date add we're going to use a calendar date Interval, we were looking backwards one month. And let's give this a name. Okay, so now we have that. So let's create two new visuals just by copying and pasting these. I'm going to take out. I'm going to take our volume last year and I'm going to add my volume last month and voila, it still aggregates correctly. But now when we get down to the month, let's get rid of quarter and go down to month. Then you can see the difference there month over month. And let's do the same for this. 
So we can see that aggregated, bring in last month, and you can see that doesn't aggregate correctly because what the context we're looking at in our calculation is month. So if we go down to the month level, let's get rid of quarter. There we go, month. Now at the month level, you can see what the previous, and let's get rid of year so it's clear. Now at the month level, you can start to see here in January, what the volume was, and then we can see the previous month over here. You can see that happening. I hope that helps. If you want the data set, it'll be in the column, uh, comment section below. And you can also, I'll put a link to the actual Power BI workbook. Thank you.